Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So in today's video, I will teach you everything about URL parameters in Facebook and what they are useful of and how you can easily track the users coming to your landing pages or your leads or your conversion leads through URL parameters. So before jumping into our video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so YouTube have some words here on my channel. Alright guys, so what are URL parameters? Basically, if you find if you go into the ad library and open few ads here by clicking learn more buttons they will take you to their landing page where you can see the url parameters attached to their url so the utm source is basically the url parameters and anything after the actual url which has the utm source tag in them it is the url parameters so this is the easy example i can show you here where they are tracking the medium and the source of the user so let's say if i land on this website it collects the data that the user came from facebook the source is the facebook and the medium is paid because i clicked on their paid ad here and i redirected from their paid ad to their website so it collected that data so what will happen in their back end they will know that okay the the users are coming from the Facebook more and if they are running Facebook and Google ads together so they will have a really good data to understand that the, where the traffic is coming more from their ads so this is a small example I can give you here and for the full example we can check this URL here where the UTM starts from here and you can see here we will go backwards in the campaign they have a campaign name home booster and they have a medium which is coming from basically the medium is the placement that where the ad is showing on facebook either on the news feed reels stories or in the post so it will tell you that the user which came to your website from which placement it came from so here i came from the news feed and the campaign which was running the ad which i clicked was home booster and the ad which was showing they named it ad phoenix so this is a really good data they have collected from my visit on their website so how they have collected all this and how they have created this utm parameters on their ad so before that let me show you a diagram to understand more about the url parameters so basically you have a campaign and i will tell you why we use it why it is important to use it let's have an example here we have a campaign name xyz and i said xyz1 so now in that ad set we have two different ads running ad1 ad2 and they both are redirecting to one url and you have a conversion from that url so now you want to know from which ad it came from in the facebook ad manager it don't show you that from which ad it came from until unless you created a url parameters because this information is really important to understand which ad you want to stop or increase budget on your campaign which are working really well you can only know by the analytics if you have set them properly so by just running the ads you will not know everything about your user which are landing on your website or landing pages or or yeah, and and this also works for the lead forms or any type of campaign you create in facebook let's have an example campaign we'll create a traffic campaign here so for that we need to do a manual traffic campaign we'll set everything manually in the campaign we don't need to do anything on the campaign level or ad set level so we'll name these campaigns as per our diagram we'll name this xyz we have a ad set that's why we won we have an ad so this is our ad one and we got ad two here so now we have two different ads and we want to know that from which ad our conversions happening so for that we need to go to the end of this section and we'll click on build a url parameter so here you will see four different options we'll go one by one according to our example url first we will set the campaign name because we want to know from which campaign the conversion happened or from which campaign the user is re redirected to our landing page or website so first we will do that 
in you can see here it says campaign name you have two different options either you do it by manually or dynamically so for manually you can just type your campaign name here campaign name one and it will fetch the name manually from your parameters but by doing that what happens in future if you change your campaign name or it will it will mix up things in future if you change anything in your campaign or ads so i always prefer doing dynamically because uh, if i change anything on the back end it will fetch everything dynamically so for that we just need to click on this field here and it will show us options we will select the campaign name here and it will always fetch the campaign name which we have xyz into our url parameters so after that we have a medium that from which placement the user came from so for that we'll have to go into campaign medium and we'll select campaign placement so it will fetch the placement of your ad from which placement the user click so you know that if your ads are working better in instagram stories or facebook reels or uh, facebook news feed or when you're optimizing your campaign you can turn off those placements which are not working really well for you and you can save your budget so in these things really helps to understand the budgeting of your campaign and give you a high performance tag in future so if you don't know what is high performance tag in your campaign you you should really search that because i have also created few videos on high performance tag and how you can get that so all this process where you learn about your traffic that helps you in your campaign to get a high performance tag because when you get a high performance tag on your facebook campaign you can run that campaign on a really low budget like two dollar three dollar per day for a really long time and it will give you conversion on a really good cdr and the cpc gets really low on that so you need to learn all these things to get a high performance tag so after this we'll go into campaign source and for the campaign source we need to know that from facebook or instagram where it came from so for that we need to select the site source name here so it will collect the the source that from which source engine it came from after that we have a one option here left and for that this is for the ad that from which ad it came from we so we just need to select the ad name here and it will collect the name of the ad like here you can see so ad phoenix so it will collect the name of the ad and uh, in your url parameters so that's it you just need to do this and if you want to add more ad parameters you can do it manually here as i said before just put the parameter here of the ad like you are running a different language ad so you can say language will be the parameter and the value can be French. So, so you can do that easily. You can add as many parameters as you want and it will give you a lot of information about your user. So you can do that and it will be a parameter for you here. And what you need to do after that, just hit apply. And you can either create different type, different parameters for each ad or you can just copy the URL parameter and paste it in your previous ads. So it will give the same value. You can easily copy and paste your parameters in all your ads and just publish them. So it will start working for all your ads. So for doing this, what will happen? What will be the result? So let me show you that after setting up your parameters and it will start getting traffic and conversions, how you can track them. So I will show you an example on a high level account. So this is a high level account. Here's an example of that URL parameter, how we are tracking. So this is a lead came from directly from Facebook lead form and the source it collected from the URL parameters is Facebook lead form and the detail. So the detail here, we get everything which we wanted that the source was paid social as i showed you in the first url example that the medium was paid so it tells us in our contact details that the source is paid the the user converted through a paid channel not from the organic channel the campaign name is here and everything we wanted provides us all the information we want from our from our lead to understand the conversion so now we know that which ad is performing well on which placement so after that, I what I did, I increased the budget on those ads individually to boost them. So let's get back to our diagram here. So now we have a conversation and you understand the whole concept of URL parameter. So if we 
put here the URL parameter. So what happened here? After you add the URL parameter in your ads, now the user will not go directly into your URL. First, they will go to the URL parameter you have created. User will land on the ad and when they click on your URL, uh, the URL parameters will connect with your landing page URL or your website URL and then they will redirect to your website or landing page. The, the parameters will collect all the data from the user journey that from which campaign it came from, from which ad set it came from. If they click on the ad set 1, ad 2, it will go into parameters database and it will collect all those information and connect it with the URL of your landing page. And then once they convert it on your landing page, you have all the data stored in your database of CRM. Okay guys, so now you know that how URL parameters work. So now you can easily understand your ads user journey using the URL parameters in your ads. I hope this video helps you. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.